Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chris Thorne Show. Yo, what's up, everybody? This your man, Chris Thorns, and as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whenever you watch my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I got a video. Um, oh, man, it, it's disturbing, very disturbing. You know, you think the David Bell situation was disturbing. I don't think nothing's going to top this, um, <clears throat> what I'm about to show you now. So to get you to meet some potatoes of it, we got a young uh, girl by the name of uh, uh, Myra Wilson, I think that's her name, and there's a viral re video that went out of a daycare worker pulling her hair and trying to force this baby to eat. I don't actually have that video. But I have seen it. So without further ado, let me uh, switch over and let y'all hear what's going on. The are investigating a daycare's treatment of a child caught on camera. This is disturbing video, and it shows what happened to a girl there being mistreated by adults who appear to be pulling the child's hair. Another employee films it and laughs while it goes on. The video leaked yesterday, but the girl's mother says it isn't funny and that the incident happened a couple of weeks ago. She's now considering legal action. They had no apology. They had no reason why they did not call me. They have... It, like I said, everything hit the fan, and it was just like they just have nothing to say. The daycare released a statement saying the staff involved were fired immediately, and investigation is now underway. <sighs> Melanie Lawson. Wow. Wow. But then again... You know, like I said, people, you know, with a lot of this stuff, should we really even be surprised at the things that's going on in this world now, you know, when it comes to these children? You know, again, like I said, you know, the thing with the David Bell situation, you know, uh, the young girl getting up in his face and uh, he pushing her. She come back in his face and um, he knocks her ass out. You know, um, and you got a little girl right here who's these defenseless and got this grown ass woman just sitting up here doing what the fuck she chooses to do with this girl all because this young girl um did not want to eat or would not you know um so let me read what it says um this is crazy um ABC 13, this is their content. Uh, Lubbock, Texas, if I said that right. Police in Lubbock are investigating the daycare workers' treatment of a child caught on camera. This disturbing video shows what appears to be a girl being mistreated by an adult who is pulling their toddler's hair. Another employee recorded the incident and laughed. The video just recently leaked, but the girl's mother says the incident happened a couple of weeks ago. This shit happened a couple of weeks ago, and it just now leaked. Uh, they had no, they had no apology. She said, they had no reason. They did not call me. Like I said, everything hit the fan, and it's like they just had nothing to say. The company says the two employees involved have been fired, and authorities have been notified. The girl mother is considering legal action. Well, I got an update on that as we speak. Uh, I think they have taken legal action. Uh, so let me switch this over here. Let me uh, blow this up for y'all. Uh, let me switch my screen right here. And let y'all hear the mother, what she had to say. It goes into a little bit more detail. She was physically, you know, abused by an, an, an adult. A sweet little three-year-old. Yay! 
Amara Wilson's parents say she's too young to go through this. In a disturbing video at My Little Playhouse Learning Center, an employee seems to be holding Amira's hair while another employee films it and laughs. Yes, we, we talked to talk to her this evening and we asked her, did she pull your hair? And she gave us an answer and told us yes. Her mother, Laquita Wilson, says she didn't even know what happened until she saw this video on social media at the same time as everyone else. I was not contacted by the daycare first. The video leaked today, but she says it actually happened a couple weeks ago. They had no apology. They had no reason why they did not call me. They have, like I said, everything hit the fan and it was just like they just have nothing to say. In a statement, the company says they fired the employees involved. Quote, the owners and directors of My Little Playhouse Learning Center were made aware of video footage posted on social media at approximately 11.45 a.m. Staff involved were fired immediately. Local authorities have been notified and are investigating accordingly. Texas Department of Child Care Licensing has also been notified. According to the Texas Department of Family Protective Services, the daycare center has had 19 violations since 2016, ranging from safety violations mm. to lack of employee training. Mm. Amara's family says they're not stopping until they get justice. Any legal actions that can happen, anything that ha actually happened to her, like jail time. Tori Larned, KMAC News. Now, you got to be kidding me. The daycare has 19 violations since 2016. And the daycare was still up and running for what it looks like it's still up and running now. Uh, you, you, you just got to be kidding me. Seriously, you got to be kidding me. So let me see, does this article give a little more detail? All right. Now, this one says, you know, Lubbock, Texas, a video depicting an adult pulling a child's hair while another adult laughed and recorded it, surfaced on social. Y'all know what? I I'm not going to read this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post the links in the description box like I always do. And y'all can take a look at this yourself or whatnot for those of you who are new to the story because uh, I heard of the story, but I'm still kind of fairly new to the story and um though had somebody who brought it to my attention and wanted me to get my uh talking points on it so here it goes first of all i want to say this women gotta be some of the dumbest motherfuckers on this earth am i talking about all not all but women gotta be some of the dumbest motherfuckers on this earth you got one dumbass whore who pulling on this young girl hair because the girl don't want to eat trying to force the girl to eat for what I'm understanding and you got one dumbass whore who's recording it and thought this shit was funny I don't know what they thought this shit was funny about but for some reason this shit was funny to her now Here's another reason why they say they dumb as fuck. Because if this happened two weeks ago, what what the fuck made this dumbass put this on social media? Knowing damn well they gonna get in trouble. I, I don't get the mindset of a lot of women at these daycares. I, I really don't get it. Now you don't have too many men that I see working at daycares, but maybe they need to start having more men working at daycares. Positive men, may I say, positive men who are a true male role model to these kids. Maybe they need to start having more males working inside the daycare instead of driving the buses. Cause I think the males usually drive the buses and the females usually be the one that works um, in the daycare. I used to work in the daycare a long time ago. Again, my grandmother, for those of you who've been watching me, my grandmother ran the daycare, so I learned a lot about dealing with kids, watching her doing her daycare business. So I learned a lot, all right? So it was easy for me to get, then I, I took two years of childcare in high school, you know, and you can learn a lot taking childcare because when back then when I took childcare, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know that um, the mechanism you could do to uh, sue babies when they crying and doing this thing the third you know uh 
their minds are very fragile. So I'm glad I did take that course. You understand? But I hate I never got a chance to do uh, what some schools do. I think they give you like a doll or something, and it, it, it reacts to emotions. I think it'll, it'll cry, uh, it'll let you know when it's hungry, and I think it even goes so far to let you know when it needs to be changed. I guess that's part of training as being a mother or a father. Now, I wanted to do that, but I don't think we actually had that, or we did have it. The females used to take the dolls home and take her to child. Now, keep that in mind that back then when I was going to school, for some reason, females stay getting pregnant back in my years of school, and I'm pretty much sure it's still going on now. But I know I graduated in 99. So for some reason, females back in that era, that's all they did was just getting pregnant. And they got pregnant, dropped, some dropped out of school, some came back to school. I mean, this one girl was in school, she had about three or four damn kids in high school. I'm like, damn, I mean, who is in your life this? continuing to allow you to make these mistakes. Who is in your life? You know, and cover there and say it proudly. They got three or four kids, you know? Uh, I don't understand that, you know, you stand under your mom and your dad roof and you come to popping out babies and that's more about the fees, including yours. Especially if you don't have a job. That's more mouth to feed, including yours. You know, so I don't know why these young girls will even put this stress on their parents like that. You understand? But you know, hey, these the end times and days like some of y'all say. But anyway, I used to work at a daycare. Uh, I forget what the name of it was. My job was in the morning time, make sure they get on the bus. After they get on the bus, then I had this long break until uh, they get out of school. And what my job was, when I got out of school, I had to come back up to that. It was, it was, it was a church and a daycare. I had to come up there, you know, uh, give them their little snack, make sure they do the homework. They go outside and do their little playing and whatnot. And to every parent came and picked them up. All right. So that was my role. And once the parents came and picked them up, then that was the end of the day for me. You know, and back then, you know, working with kids, generated you a nice little check. At least somebody that was young like me coming fresh out of high school. You understand? But unfortunately, things didn't work out, you know, and I just had to leave that job. You know, things just didn't work out, you know. I didn't like the way it was ran. And the woman who was running it, you know, uh, she was cool, but you know what I'm saying? She had her bad baggages too as well. Now, I never heard about anything that she did fucked up to the kids, but you know, when you see this attitude and other shit that's going on up in there and it's making it unhealthy for you to work there, then, you know, uh, I think your best bet, if you got another job in place, then go ahead and just let that go. You know, because again, like I say to anybody, your sanity comes before anything. And you in a workplace where a lot of drama and fuck shit going on, then yeah, that's bad for your health. Get the fuck on out of there and find you something better. So, yeah. So that was my job when I worked at a daycare. Now, here we are in the 2000s. You know, we hear more stories like these of these daycare workers who claim they care so much about the kids, these women who claim they care so much about the kids, but be the main one of bruising these damn kids. And not only that, it be the main dumbasses who sit up here and record this shit and be sit up there giggling they motherfucking ass off. Giggling they motherfucking ass off and put this, this, this shit on social media. I don't understand it. I would never understand it. You know, and shit like this make you want to stop fucking with these type of women or make you want to stop fucking with women, period. Not saying being gay or nothing, but... It just make you want to start fucking with women. Let me just say this. It, it probably just start want to fuck with women who got children. Because if you treat kids like this in a daycare, I can imagine how you treat your own. I can imagine how you treat your own. And you treat these kids like this in a daycare. This is sad. This is insane. But you know the reason why they put this on social media? Because it get hits, it get views. And nine times out of 10, you got a lot of people probably praising this dumb ass shit, saying that it's funny, when the shit is not funny. Now for those you who saw the video, I saw the video. This girl looked like she was dazed, she was sleepy. I, I don't know what it was, but the way her hair was moving and stuff, looked like she wasn't feeling too good. To me it was, or it looked like somebody hit her. And she may be in the days or something. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to put that on nobody saying that they hit her. But then again, the bitch probably did hit her. Who knows? 
And you can see these pictures right here. How this shit went down. But my main thing is, if this daycare had that many violations, why the fuck is it still up? Why is it still up? Why is this shit is not shut down? Why? Why are they continue to allow to take in children? Why are these, why are they allowed to keep hiring these piss poor excuse for women? Why? I mean, are the, are the, I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. But to that lady, the mother, and I'm assuming that's a father, which I'm glad another video. Thank you. But they actually put a father up in it. Thank you. Another video where they actually put a father up in it. Y'all do what y'all can. Excuse me. Damn head engine. Y'all do what y'all can to get this shit rectified. As a matter of fact, do what y'all can to get this shit shut down. Cause this daycare got all them damn violations. They don't need to be open. Excuse me. They don't need to be open. They don't need to take in no more kids. Or if they are going to leave it open, they need to change out everybody. Take everybody out of it and put in fresh people. And again, put in more men. Put in men to work in the daycare. Because men can work with kids too. That's why they call fathers. Especially if you got a good damn father. Put that NFL player that I did that story on. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll put the link in there too. Put him in there. I bet you he'll get this shit straight. Put him up in there along with a lot of other men. Instead of trying to fuck up these fathers' life. Put them in there. And let them do this. And I guarantee you, you put more men in these daycares, maybe, just maybe, the judicial system, we start respecting men a little bit more. Just maybe they will if you put men in these daycares and let them run it. I'm sorry this happened to this little baby, but it's good to see that she's okay. And uh, these whores who did this, they need to be dealt with. They need to be dealt with. This your man Chris Thorns. Uh, what say you good people? You know, uh, what's your thoughts on this? You know, this is very sad. And um, this is crazy. You know, I, I don't know. Not, 2019 ain't we ain't even at the end of January now. And I done did stories of two kids, teenagers, killing their mother. I done did the story about David Bell, him and a young black girl. They doing it, this dumb shit. They doing it. And now this. Now this. But the only outcome, I guess that's somewhat good out of the David Bell. And this story, that neither one of the ladies are dead. On your man Chris Thorns, um, the links will be in the description box and in the comment section. Y'all give me y'all thoughts on this. And uh, thank y'all for listening. I'm out.